Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that Google had finally started turning off uBlock Origin and other MV2, Manifest version 2 extensions in Google Chrome. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen because the only option you have now is to remove because everything else is grayed out. Obviously, this is causing quite a lot of debate in certain circles for obvious reasons. Now, I'm showing you this in Chrome Canary, an early preview version, because I have already uninstalled uBlock Origin in the stable version, because I just thought I'd post a video to show you how you can basically get uBlock Origin back for now, and some alternatives, if you would be interested, you can use. Now, I have posted a whole video, Chrome is deprecating uBlock Origin MV2, here are some alternatives. I posted this about four months ago. And I'll leave this link down below and in the end screen as well. But just a quick recap. You can use other alternatives to uBlock Origin. That will still work. And some browsers also feature built-in ad blockers, like Brave. Features a built-in ad blocker that's very good as an example. Vivaldi is the same. The extension will still work in Firefox. It's still working in Microsoft Edge. It's only Google Chrome at this stage who's going down this path. So check this video out for more information. But something else you can do, obviously, is if you use the base configuration of uBlock Origin, meaning that you didn't change preferences or use specific blocking or filtering features, then it's very likely that you won't notice a difference after installing the light version. So you can also head over to the Chrome Web Store and just type in uBlock because uBlock Origin is no longer available as a download. So if I click on uBlock Origin, you can see nothing going on here. But you can install the light version as another alternative, which to some degree or the other work just as well as uBlock Origin in the Google Chrome web browser. So now I've installed uBlock Lite, so that's something else you can try. Now, if you have uBlock Origin installed, but as mentioned, you have no option to enable it, then I'm going to go through a quick guide to show you how, can you, how you can re-enable uBlock Origin if you have it installed. And if you don't have it installed, how you can also re-download it after making a couple of tweaks and adjustments to the Google Chrome web browser in the stable version. Now it does, once again, require you to fiddle with a couple of experimental flags in Google Chrome. So if you are comfortable to fiddle, then this is how you get the job done. So what we would do, if you want to re-enable uBlock Origin and you have already and it is already downloaded and installed in your browser as an extension. Head to your Omnibox, type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And then what you're going to do is just type in temp. And what you need to do now is you need to set temporarily unexpire M137 flags. That's version 137. We are currently on version 138. So you need to enable that. Relaunch the browser. Now, when version 139 rolls out, you would then use temporarily unexpire M138. So we're on M137, which was the previous version. So when 139 rolls out, obviously that will remove what I'm showing you in this video today. So you would have to come back and change M138 when that flag becomes available with version 139 rolling out over the next couple of weeks. So getting back to version 138. Unexpire 137 flags, enable that, restart your browser. Then the next thing you're going to do is just type in MV2. This is three flags we've got to disable. So the first flag will be Extension Manifest V2 Deprecation Warning Stage. Set that to Disabled. 
The next one is extension manifest V2 deprecation disabled stage. Disable that flag. The third flag, extension manifest V2 deprecation unsupported page. Disable that. Now once again, restart your browser. Relaunch the stable version of Google Chrome. And then the last flag, this time we have to enable, is allow legacy extension manifest versions. So just type in manifest, that would be the easiest to bring this up. And yeah, you'll find an extension called allow legacy extension manifest versions as mentioned. Now this one we have to enable. Relaunch your browser. So here's a list of all those flags, temporarily unexpired M137. Extension manifest V2 deprecation, warning stage, disabled stage, unsupported stage, and allow legacy extension manifest version. So those are all the flags that need to be enabled, disabled, and enabled. And now, once you've done this process, if you still had uBlock Origin installed, that will re-enable uBlock Origin with those flags. Now, if you didn't have uBlock Origin, like I uninstalled it, as mentioned, I uninstalled it after it was deprecated on my device. I've now replaced it with uBlock Origin Lite. What you have to do now is you would have to head over to GitHub because the extension is no longer available in the Chrome Web Store. And just scroll down a little bit on the page and here you will see Chromium zip file, 3.92 megabytes in size, updated four days ago. You would have to download this to your local drive, to your downloads location. And then once that's complete, you would head over to your download location and you would have to extract all. And that'll take a second or two. Because now we're going to manually install uBlock Origin. And by the way, just while that's unzipping, the process I showed you with all those flags being enabled and disabled. All your manifest V2 extensions will now work, not just uBlock Origin, after going through this process by enabling, disabling, and enabling those flags, just on a side note. So once that's downloaded, as mentioned, what you would do, because what that does is it just basically has extracted now all the files that are part of the uBlock Origin extension. Now what you would do now is you'd head back into Google Chrome to your extensions page and you would enable developer mode. Now I have posted on this developer mode previously, but unfortunately since version 138 has rolled out, it seems that it's not working properly, but this will re-enable the option to install uBlock Origin using developer mode. So enable developer mode. Now to install uBlock Origin manually, what you need to do is you need to head to load unpacked once developer mode is on and head to your downloads location click on the folder and then you need to click on uBlock Chromium in this case that folder select folder and there we go uBlock Origin has now been installed and you can see it's on and it's working now you'll see you've got errors now what you need to do after that is just click on errors Go clear all, head back, and you can see everything is working A and OK, as I would say on the channel. Now, just a quick heads up. Experimental flags, as I've mentioned a hundred times on the channel, can be removed at any time by Google. And there's a very good chance in version 140, which is now in preview as the early preview version in Chrome Canary, all those flags have already been removed. So I can't even go through this process in Chrome Canary, which is currently sitting on version 140. So basically in two versions time, this process I've shown you will not work 
enabling and disabling these experimental flags. So just take note of that. But I'm sure by the time we get to version 140, hopefully I'll get knowledge of some other workarounds and we'll still be able to use uBlock Origin if you so wish. But obviously, if you don't want to go through this whole process with experimental flags, then as mentioned, you can download the light version or you can head over to another browser. Check that other video out for more info as mentioned. And if we head to our extensions, uBlock Origin, and there we go. We can see everything is working. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.